and leading in between the final two is Telecon. Telecon and Ricky Doyle have stretched clear at the final fly in driving rain. Sloppy enough was Telecon, but comfortably cleared of ages of man. Figarock is running on on the outside of Gordon Zara, and then comes Mary's Pride. But it is Telecon landing a punt in the opener. Second ages of man and leading in between the final two is Telecon. Telecon and Ricky Doyle have stretched clear at the final fly in driving rain. Sloppy enough was Telecon, but comfortably cleared of ages of man. Figarock is running on on the outside of Gordon Zara, and then comes Mary's Pride. But it is Telecon landing a punt in the opener. Second ages of man. It's gone to the judge for the third, Gordon Zara, and Figarock Mary's Pride in fifth. But it's Blood Destiny kicking away, coming to the final flight, leads a couple of lengths, enjoy the dream. At the last is Blood Destiny, another awkward jump on the outside, trying to take advantages, enjoy the dream. A hundred yards to go, Blood Destiny's run down by enjoy the dream for Andy Heffernan. It's enjoy the dream, drawing away to beat the odds and favourite Blood Destiny. Blood Destiny kicking away, coming to the final flight, leads a couple of lengths, enjoy the dream. At the last is Blood Destiny, another awkward jump on the outside, trying to take advantages, enjoy the dream. A hundred yards to go, Blood Destiny's run down by enjoy the dream for Andy Heffernan. It's enjoy the dream, drawing away to beat the odds and favourite Blood Destiny. In third place was Gust of Wind and fourth was Sir Allen. Enjoyed the dream, conjured late by Dado O'Keefe for Andy McNamara. Two, it's still Ali Rose in front is digging down deep here. From Kada Harla, then higher Ottoman style, Galore de Zassons is still running on. And then the flyer Bagley, but over the last goes Ali Rose and Paddy O'Hanlon. Out four lengths clear of Kada Harla, Galore de Zassons on answered his next, but they haven't got to Ali Rose, who's made it all from Galore de Zassons on answered. With still Ali Rose in front is digging down deep here. From Kada Harla, then higher Ottoman style, Galore de Zassons is still running on and then the flyer Bagley but over the last goes Ali Rose and Paddy O'Hanlon out four lengths clear of Cother Harla Galore de Zassons and answered his next but they haven't got to Ali Rose who's made it all from Galore de Zassons and answered on the inside was Cother Harla and then wait till I tell you it mightn't be the national this year but it's a win nevertheless on the day for Paddy O'Hanlon And it's Asterian for launch from on the inside Beacon Edge. Monkfish is trying to get to terms with them. The final flight, it's Asterian for launch. You winged it from Monkfish on the outside. In third place is Beacon Edge. They got 100 yards to go. It's Asterian for launch. Leading home a Willie Wallens 1 2. Asterian for launch beat Monkfish. In third place, Beacon Edge. Well clear of HMS Seahorse. Master Max Shea. Last is Phil Door. And it's Asterian for launch from on the inside Beacon Edge. Monkfish is trying to get to terms with them. The final flight, it's Asterian for launch. You winged it from Monkfish on the outside. In third place is Beacon Edge. They got 100 yards to go. It's Asterian for launch. Leading home a Willie Wallens 1-2. Asterian for launch beat Monkfish. In third place Beacon Edge. Well clear of HMS Seahorse. Master Max Shea. Last is Phil Door. Out, but it's Janadil out in front with one fence left to jump. It's Janadil and Mark Walsh into the last. They're safe. Oh, they're down! They're down with the race! And their mercy and easy game has been fortuitously presented with another McInerney Properties Fairy House chase. What drama! Mark Walsh is up as easy game is again the winner of the McInerney Properties Ferry House Chase. But it's Janadil out in front with one fence left to jump. It's Janadil and Mark Walsh into the last. They're safe. Oh, they're down! They're down with the race! And their mercy and easy game has been fortuitously presented with another McInerney Properties Ferry House Chase. What drama! Mark Walsh is up as easy game is again the winner of the McInerney Properties Ferry House Chase. 
Another great two for Paul Town and Willie Mullins. That looked very unlikely. Royal Rendezvous is second and last. Maximus digs in the Angels Dawn. The Devils coachman can't give any more. And sweeping on the near side is Gevre. Gevre will lead over the last. From on the inside is Defi Blue. I am Maximus is powering home in the centre. John Cheat on the near side. And it's I am Maximus and Paul Tan in front of the Irish National. I am Maximus wins it from Gevre. I am Maximus digs in the Angels Dawn. The Devils Devil's coachman can't give any more. And sweeping on the near side is Gevre. Gevre will lead over the last. From on the inside is Defi Blue. I am Maximus is powering home in the centre. John Cheat on the near side. And it's I am Maximus and Paul Tan in front of the Irish National. I am Maximus wins it from Gevre. In third place was Defi Blue. John Cheat, a panda boy, and the only other finisher is. 16, the mayor, Angels Dawn. Down towards the final fence, and it's Street Value and Hope Coburn getting the better of Everett Low, but Max Charm is delivering a good looking run the near side. The final fence, Max Charm and down Street Value. Max Charm on the near side battles it out with Hope Coburn getting a second win. Is Sir Bob and it's Max Charm, the joint top weight, and Brian Hayes getting on top from Sir Bob who flew home late. And then Hope Coburn coming down towards the final fence. And it's Street Value and Hope Coburn getting the better of Everett Low. But Max Charm is delivering a good looking run the near side. The final fence, Max Charm and down Street Value. Max Charm on the near side battles it out with Hope Coburn getting a second win. Is Sir Bob and it's Max Charm, the joint top weight. And Brian Hayes getting on top from Sir Bob who flew home late. And then Hope Coburn. Everglow and Ponteval also losing at the last irascible street values jockey is up. These two kick away from Tutor's Glory in facile mode. Racing to the final furlong, Il Atlantic from Far Fox over on the far side. These two in a tussle to the final furlong. Il Atlantic, Patrick Mullins, Far Fox hasn't gone away for Jamie Codd and is edging up on the inside. And it's Far Fox wearing down the long time leader, Il Atlantic, as they go towards the line. It's Far Fox, the winner from Il Atlantic, in a good buckle up the straight. These two kick away from Tutor's Glory in facile mode. Racing to the final furlong, Il Atlantic from Far Fox over on the far side. These two in a tussle to the final furlong. Il Atlantic, Patrick Mullins, Far Fox hasn't gone away for Jamie Codd and is edging up on the inside. And it's Far Fox wearing down the long time leader, Il Atlantic, as they go towards the line. It's Far Fox, the winner from Il Atlantic, in a good buckle up the straight. Well clear of the third shooter's glory.